mummification, the preservation of a human body by removing moisture to prevent decay. But why did ancient civilizations do this? What was the purpose of mummification? The process of mummification began in ancient Egypt around 2680 BC and continued until the first century AD. It was common practice to preserve the bodies of the dead, and it was especially important to preserve the bodies of the pharaohs so that their souls could live on. In ancient Egypt, the process of mummification was very detailed and time-consuming. After a person died, their organs were removed, including their brain, which was considered to be the seat of the soul. The organs were then preserved in jars made of stone or wood and kept with the body or buried separately. The body was then dried out using a natural process called desiccation, which involved covering it in a salt called natron and letting it sit for 40 days. This process removed all of the moisture from the body and prevented it from decaying. After the body had been dried out, it was washed with wine and spices and then wrapped in layers of linen. The mummy was then placed in a coffin and buried in a tomb. The entire process of mummification took about 70 days to complete. The Egyptians used a variety of materials to preserve the body, including resin, which was used to keep the body from decaying, linen, which was used to wrap the body, and natron, which was used to dry out the body. Natron is a natural substance that was mined in Egypt, and it was made up of salt, lime, and other minerals. The Egyptians also used a variety of tools to help them mummify the body, including knives, spatulas, and brushes. One of the most famous Egyptian mummies is that of King Tutankhamun, who died in 1323 BC at the age of 19. His mummy was discovered by Howard. Carter in the Valley of the Kings in 1922. Another famous set of mummies is the mummies of the Tarim Basin, which are a group of mummies that were found in China's Tarim Basin. These mummies date back to between 1800 BC and 1000 BC and they are some of the best preserved mummies in the world. Today, scientists are able to learn a lot about ancient cultures by studying mummies. By examining the remains of ancient humans, scientists are able to learn about their diet, lifestyle, and diseases they may have been exposed to. Mummification is a fascinating part of many ancient cultures, and it continues to intrigue people today. While the practice is no longer common, the mummies that have been discovered give us a unique window into the past.